I'm going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Okay, has everybody had a chance to read the uh, minutes from the last meeting? Sounds like Jen's walking. It is Jen. Hey there. Good morning, Janet. Good morning. You saved your spot. Well, you're lucky day. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we already called the, the meeting order. Has everybody had a chance to, to read the, the minutes from the previous meeting? Yep. Okay, can we have any corrections or for, for just a couple of quick corrections? You might want to change the name of business A. Second sentence, you might want to change the exact timing is unclear, but it is either complete or it not in. I can't tell you. I got it. And um, in the scrapbooks update, um, I think it's accurate to um, break uh, the first sentence up actually. Connie reported to Marie via email and said she continues to investigate digitizing the scrapbooks. And I reported that the table of contents portion of the project is finished. I was thinking that was your design, but I didn't see that part. Oh, okay. Right. So that would be clear in the reporting. Yeah. 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 Ye
Are they on your list? Um, the I don't know. I didn't check. Okay. And the History of Colorado has a good list of you put it to, you know? Yep. Yeah. So, that's good. Um, I mean, it's going out to the public. Yes. So, yes. notifying somebody in addition to the notification that's going to go out from the system right. is neither here nor there. It's just right. adding one right. more person to the yep. list. Mm -hmm. but, I also, but I did reach out to to each of, I talked to Watkins, I talked to Spectrum, I talked to White, um, I talked to the receptionist at Waddle and Dub, so they all, they all know it's coming soon. Okay. okay. So. And, um, and what, yeah, Watkins, yeah, okay. Yeah, I saw Jane. Good. She came up with older for Yeah, I was there. It was very interesting. Mm -hmm. Talked about the windows of the first press. Uh, both the restoration and the, the meaning of the colors and mm -hmm. um, the sy symbolism in the selections of what's in the glass windows and mm -hmm. they're be they have beautiful windows. They're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And they have had that tempered glass applied to them like what we're talking about doing to ours. Mm -hmm. So um, it was a very nice presentation and both um, Jane and the minister um, presented about the windows and then um, Carol Affleck um, had a little reception. So this was a nice, nice event. Parking was a bear, though. Boulder. Boulder. Yeah. <laughs> That's but all you have to say. Boulder. How interesting. interesting. And they changed the name of the church um, to Grace Commons or something like that. So if I'm driving around Boulder, Don. It's supposed to be right here. I don't yes. see it. They keep just saying, this is where I'm at. Guess right. what? You're there. Why would you change the name of the church? I know. They spill it. They do. Uh, you do with circumstances nowadays. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, but it was very interesting. They talked about Christian Endeavor, which was the um, youth organization that was formed in the, I think, late 1800s mm -hmm. to get youth involved in the church. Mm -hmm. And they have a very strong mm -hmm. youth ministry. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so it's kind of cool. So I have just a couple more quick questions on the expenses part. Mm -hmm. So when we have ice purchase. I'm guessing that it's a pass-through to... Um, it is. Okay. Because so they're like, we have an ice maker. What would you buy us? Well, we only have 40 pounds of ice. So that does not go very far when it's 97 degrees. No, it doesn't. Yeah. On this makes sense so that it's a, an if, event. Yeah. If, yeah. Well, and we buy, we buy ice when we're doing the non-alcoholic beverages. Mm -hmm. When they're doing alcohol, they bring their own ice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. okay. Um, so with the... Purchase of, like from the Deccans, I'm wondering why are we spending $300 outside of Mama on um, floor polish and fertilizer? Why well, it was mostly fertilizer, and it's because there isn't any available organic fertilizer available in Mama. I went to Flower Bend, they don't have any for when we're out of business, um, and Lowe's and Home Depot didn't have organic and they wanted organic fertilizer. So we've been buying fertilizer at the Deccans for years. Yeah. I was just wondering, and then the floor polish, are we, is that something we just, that we just get local, or? We, I just bought it there because it was you, handy and I didn't want to go there. <laughs> yeah. just, are, we, do, are we replacing pictures? Because I know there's Yes, we were replacing, one. we bought 10 new ones. Our pictures were miserably ugly. Mm. And we used them all the time for events, so we got rid of the old ones. And they were just great. Yeah. Yeah, they were they they banged and, and dropped. I like that. The plastic. Yeah. Well, and I think they're getting um, sturdier ones, but honestly, they're like 70 bucks a piece. Oh, wow. And the first time you drop them, they're, they're, they're done awesome. for. Yeah. And yeah. these were like $9 a piece. And yeah. And when they get bad, we throw them away and get away with them. We just replace them all. And weight is another issue. Yeah. Mean, they're really yeah. heavy and, yeah. and you're <coughs> doing it constantly. Well, yeah. and you can't tell what's inside the metal ones. Right. So they're not because you, so you pick it up in your core and figure out you've got ice cream still on many or whatever. Right. Yeah. So. so yes, we replace the pictures. And then um, Mark uh, Taylor. Um, those, were, those were the Callahan House pictures. Oh, we purchased them? Mm -hmm. We did. We were just about out. And because of the fact that he now lives in Aurora and transports them personally, it's just easier to buy a bunch. Okay. Plus, the price keeps going up. Sure. Because the price of ink keeps going up. So we are now stocked for a while. Okay. Good. Are there any more questions? On the final balance sheet, on the balance sheet. Basically, so we've got this 
excess of, of expenses over revenue. So we're you know, roughly five thousand in expenses over revenues for the month. Um, but not for the year. No, just yeah. just for the month. So just just looking. I wonder, don't we have telephone you know charges consistent? Do, do, do they change regularly or Regularly. Telephone expenses get charged per paycheck. So in July, there were three paychecks, so we got charged three times. Most months, we only get charged twice. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is the nuances that. Okay. And salaries and wages, and temporary wages, and employee benefits costs all went up um, this Three paychecks. Because of the three. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So going through the house manager's report, can I get a motion that we accept it and put it into? Um, I make a motion that we accept. I second. Okay. All right. Moving on to old business and starting with the, the grant projects. And we we kind of talked about that briefly. I did um, want to ask you, Ben, while you're here. Um, is it possible that we could have a presentation um, maybe in s s September by Carrie? Is it Carrie? Mm -hmm. Carrie Sheehan. Did, Carrie Sheehan. Oh. Yeah, that she's been she's been working on this as well, and she she is um, she's part of the historic aspect of it, and I was wondering if if we could speak with her maybe in September October. What we didn't touch base. With we her. could, but what would be the purpose? I mean, why would you? What would you want her to present? I, I, I just like to. I just like to first of all put a face to her and and meet her and and see what exactly you know, um, because she's helping cover the historic aspect of it, and I thought it would be interesting for the board to meet. Her. Well, she's part of facilities. I can talk. I I will talk to yeah. her and see about getting her. Um, and if that's possible, or if it works with her schedule, <coughs> and I would ask that we put that right at the beginning so she can just pop that right. and, and then leave. Yeah. And, then, and that's exactly yeah. kind of what I was thinking. But because we've been having this at the, the start of the old business, right at the start of the meeting, I thought it would be interesting for the board to kind of put a, a face to her. And because she's working with Kathy, it would be mm -hmm. interesting that's fine. just to, to touch base. Whether we do this in September or October, I don't yeah. really mm -hmm. care. Yeah. But it was. And it's carried with a K, is it? Yes. Mm -hmm. K E I R Y. Oh, yes, it's a Y. R R Y. Okay. Yep. K E R R Y. She had S H E E H A N. So the purpose would just be to meet her. Yeah, basically. Okay, that's fine. We can we can work that out. I thought that would be. As long as it works with her schedule. And again, yeah. it's asking first, and then if we can meet her in, in, in September, October, or even November, that would be great. However, it works in, right. in the schedule of things because this is going to be a great project that we would kind of like to kind of see. You know, um, that was just my only comment on that. So, would you like Ozzy to come as well? That, yeah, if that's possible. If that's possible. Okay. It would just be kind of. Because again, I can invite them both. Then, then I kind of can have a, a face to go with a the face name. to go with the name, and then we know who's working on it, and it, it helps. And see, Ozzy, this is one of those things that that would be great. Um, so on to to the project itself, and you kind of touched base. So Phil, the Phil Barlow was here on the first. And took all the paint samples, and he uh, he did not use a lift; he used a ladder. He said that he couldn't figure out how to get a ladder in, or a lift in here safely without breaking trees, and he was concerned about the driveway, so he just he just used a ladder. Um, and he got all of his samples. He was here um, for about four or five hours. He oh, was done a little a little after lunch, and um, said that it would take him two to four weeks to do the report, depending on what else was going on in his life. Um, so he would he get the report back to us, and he's also going to get us the samples back, so that we can um, we can actually see them and keep them for a record. Um, he he said that the colors at the very base seem to be very dark, and he thought at one point or another they might have even painted for Christmas. 
Wow. <laughs> that was what he said. <laughs> so wow. He, he said that he thought there were a lot of reds and greens. So he was, he was who would have thought? Yeah. So he was um, he was he was intrigued. So um, the RFP oh, is pretty much do that. is pretty much ready to go, uh, but we're not going to release it until we get the paint analysis back because they want to include the paint analysis and the information that they give the contractors at the pre-project meeting, right? So that they can adequately bid the paint, the paint job. So that's that's kind of where we're at on everything. We're just mostly in a holding pattern. Okay. Well, let's hurry up and hold. Okay, yep. cool. Yep. Yeah. Bring us same this old stuff, good, different day, right? This is good progress, though. It's very exciting. Very exciting. It's interesting to hear about the paint <laughs> differentiation. All right. So, moving right on to the um, to, to the um, the tour brochure and updates, and um, simply what put is because we had talked about going through and going through the self-guided tour and whatnot and then putting it into play and seeing how it went. Um, so Karen, you're really pretty much the one that's been handling a lot of the brochure stuff. Do you want to go ahead and, and put in the update? Well, it really short and sweet. Um, I think uh, it went really well in that um, when we uh, handed them to our, our guests, I didn't have anyone hand them back. They get the Everybody wanted them. Everyone wanted to keep them, so that's a really good sign. It shows that we did not overload them with um, information, and actually it was valuable to them, and they, they saw a reason to keep it. So, which I think is wonderful, because we've accomplished what we set out to do. And on each of the two documents, of course, we, we do have a QR code, which helps with providing them access to information about the house, and an opportunity to donate. So I think it really accomplished what we set out to do um, for, for both the, the self-guided tour um, for them to have and the um, Callahan House why the historic restoration and preservation is important. Um, so people actually did a pause and afterward and um, asked me some more questions about um, each of them. So that was any positive result? Did anyone else get any feedback? I didn't get a copy of the, the historic thing. Mm -hmm. I I got lots of feedback, and but I'm going to go back about those two about that specifically separate. Um, about that in an aspect, like I just heard that it was great. They were excited to have it. They actually the ones that didn't get it went back and got a mm -hmm. copy. Yeah. Um, so to me, that's it. That's a, a good thing. Mm -hmm. So. Um, just about those two, and then do we have any more comments in regards to the, the historic restor restoration preservation um, document itself or any changes that we wanted to make in regards to that? Did anybody see anything that we needed to do? Can we go ahead and finalize the, um, the, the um, self-guided tour um, brochure and then um, get that in place so it's done? And files shared with Kathy. So yeah, we can yeah. Also and, and that's that. exactly what the whole point is, is Perfect. to finalize as everything and share it. All is, all is well. Well, well, then, I know. think it worked out really well, and I didn't see any changes. Does anybody else see any so changes that we need to make? Ask a question. The question I have on this was um, the $180,000 awarded on December 1st in the matching funds. Some people might look at that and thought, oh, Longmark gave $180,000 mm -hmm. And they did. Now it's specified where it's Would you like to put, say, a 25% matching funds, or do you want us to put $60,000? What, what do you prefer? Just got that sentence. It's got to say yeah, what Longmark needs to be funds, specific. Yeah, and more specific. 25% matching funds. And yeah. that's on the, the, is, which is on which? the, why historic preservation and restoration. Okay. okay, thank you for catching that. And then we must stay with 25% or the 60,000. I think either or. Maybe let's stay consistent or dollar figures. Yeah, okay. Because um, we've got dollars here to show people. Um, you know, it, it reads easier. So we put 60,000. And then in parentheses, 20. 
Thanks, Daniel. You're welcome. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, so we need to go ahead and have a motion to approve with changes so that we can move forward and we can get this put in place. And this will be from B going forward more. Can we get a motion, please? So I'm going to see. Okay. You know what? I um, let me check something. I was just reading. The, the, the purchase that Tom made of that 30 foot strip of the land, mm -hmm. it's really rather interesting. We did more research and pulled um, uh, the transfer. <coughs> Obviously, Tom bought it from E.G. Jones. That was but one of the E.G. Jones that he bought it from Flanders. And Flanders bought it from Shaw. There was this really quick turnabout. And E.G. Jones bought it from Flanders for a thousand. He sold it to Tom for thirteen hundred. It's really an interesting exchange that happened there. So rather than say short of this, rather than say from the neighbor to uh, the east side, because E.G. Jones really wasn't the neighbor at the time, um, the uh, property north um, from the, the northern property um, or the property to the north, um, but not neighbor. Not neighbor. I think that's better. Uh, I think I need to clarify. Yeah, I think I need that clarified. So if it's okay with you all, Tom bought a 30 foot strip of land from um, BG Jones. 30 foot strip of land to the north. Because then that way it's really accurate. Okay, so we have a motion on the table that we approve these as as the changes that are submitted at this meeting. Can I get a second? I'll second. Okay, so then these documents with with changes then will be submitted into Kathy, and then we'll go from that. Yeah. And if, if I could request both the, do you do a PDF or a document or do both? If you could do both, that would be great. We're making some changes for our website, so. The, the information contained, they'd like to see it in the web page sure. instead of as a PDF so that okay. people on mobile phones, they finally passed 50% of people viewing everything on mobile phones. Yeah. And a PDF is, yeah. I, I mean, you probably all experienced a PDF, it's really yeah. hard to yeah. read. Yeah. Yeah. So we're trying to transition, and if you could provide both, sure. then as we get there, we can. Or just the word. It's, it's a, a PDF. PDF. Both yeah. are fantastic. Yeah. Provide both. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank so you. if you could. Provide that to Kathy mm -hmm. and to, to yes. Simone. Yes. Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. And could we vote on the motions, please? Yes, we need to make a vote. I just say. All in favor? I know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're, we're being recorded. Official, right. Yeah, we're being recorded. So we really did that. Yeah. All the Okay. Um, moving on to the Callahan House room by room. Um, Docent's guide. Um, I thought it worked, went really well. My only request is that we keep a copy in the drawer with our name tags for anybody that forgets. So we have one. That's a good idea. It'd be helpful. So we have the information sure. and then we can review it. So if we could just keep a copy in the drawer and then we're not asking Kathy to get one at the last minute because I don't think that's fair. I so just think. Can you explain the difference between the self-guided tour and the Dawson's tour to me? Because I'm not sure I understand. The self-guided tour and the historic preservation restoration mm -hmm. each get given to a, 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 our guests. They, mm -hmm. Each guest mm -hmm. gets one. Um, the Dawson's tour is meant for just us, uh, the, the board members, to have in hand so mm -hmm. that we can answer questions as they may come up. And we so can have a quick reference. It's, it's meant for, for us to be able to um, properly describe the rooms, uh, explain anything in particular that's of, of particular interest. Um, and then, uh, yes, if there's any question that somebody comes up with, then it's likely going to be <laughs> in the detail of that room. But then anytime a question does come up and it's not in there, that would be a good chance for us to update our docents guide. So this is for just us. We will continue to update it as 
as needed. So as a question comes up and then we clarify it, we'll add it to the appropriate room or, or the appropriate section of the, of the guide. Okay. That is just for, isn't it, for us. However, Eric's, I do like Eric's suggestion. Um, and when we would talk to him and he met with us, he, he said, he said, well, some people might really want to have this information. What if we had it um, set and found? It could just be something similar to, I'm trying to think of what publication we may have that's similar. Um, just hard paper, you know, like cardstock paper found and folded over or something better, yeah, a booklet. Um, uh, but anyway, have that available for purchase if someone wanted to, to purchase it. And, and like I said, I think I said it in the last meeting that he said, that's a great idea. And because there are going to be people who will want all these details. Um, but he said, mm, the challenge is just making sure you're able to take the payment, either if it's electronic or something. He said a lot of people may not carry cash with them. And so he says, just be, be mindful of that. How do you, how can you get payment? So, mm -hmm. so ideally, this, this can be created into, and I think that's what I'd like us to do. Some a booklet that can be purchased by our guests. I think that's that's, that's a good idea. And mm -hmm. to be honest, I was just going through my bookshelf this weekend um, and going through various different things and came across, you know, the seventy fifth um, brochure for for certain for for Long Run and, and and other brochures that I have that were really fun and exciting to look at. And I think that that's one of those things that I think would be neat to have. But um, at this point, are we good with what we have? Well, we do have some nice feedback from um, um, questions that came out of the open house. So basically- mm -hmm. Okay, do we want to discuss it now? Or do we want to- That's a good question. Yes. How do you want to handle it? <laughs> Um, I, I think we move forward and we, we continue to recognize that the the docents tour is a work in progress where I don't think we're quite ready to to get to the point where we we publish it but um, I really do appreciate all your work on it Karen but I think that we need to put it in play a little bit longer and see if how many more questions we drum up okay. and, and add to it so so that being said i would like to move forward and go on to recap the july 27th um meeting uh, i'm um open house and event and talk about that okay i'll just keep uh I hang on to the questions that are safe from connie and from the <coughs> yeah. that i from the guests the questions from ann or janet that you receive and i'll just keep it open and then the next for after september we'll do the same thing just gather any questions and and then we can kind of comment then. If, if, if that would be, basically, I think we're we're going to go. Uh, it's it's kind of like a combined effort, and I'm trying to keep this so the so public's being aware of um, anybody that's watching this. If we can just kind of recap any feedback or or whatnot that we got under the open houses, if if we can just discuss it at that point. So I would like to move forward on the agenda to the open houses and look at. Um, Go straight into July 27th recap and feedback from the event, and this is basically going to cover that. Yeah. So, we had 164. 64. Yeah, we had five advisory board members, one student volunteer, one house manager um, running the event. So, I think it was quite successful with 164 guests. And um, I'd say it's definitely a really great start. I think we have. Um, some things we should probably talk through to see how you know we would feel about the flow of things and um, how that worked with sending in little small groups at a time and then kind of shuffling them from one room to the other versus you know having a docent tour a whole group around from one room because we decided to do what we, we actually put into play for the open house so how did it work out? So what, are, what was everybody else's opinion of the open house? Upstairs was hard because they came through both doors. I mean, up the steps and through the back door. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if they were a little bit this way or if they went to the meeting room or whatever. So as Kathy said, we came up the stairs. Yeah. yeah. We had to come down the stairs. So we got a 
So, so, so that that was one of the things that um, I did want to bring up. You know, I'm so sorry that you were ill um, and could not be with us. So, um, COVID strikes. But one, of, one of the things that I would like to be able to do that is, if one of us can't be here and be sick, if if you could contact me and let me know, because that way, or the chair, it doesn't matter who's in this this position. So we can contact other past board members or people that would be willing to volunteer and step into place so we can stop that from happening. It should not be Kathy's responsibility to, to fill in with somebody. I could certainly have made some calls to, to Candy or, or Leona or Mary or somebody else that has sat on the board in the past that could have filled in the position and helped keep the crowd a little and help that stop from happening. Because I was aware that one of the guests came through and said, oh, and I gotta go down the stairs. And I said, oh, oh, you weren't supposed to be doing that. Um, so that would be helpful. And I just, I think that it, it that would be a good thing. And I don't, you know, Kathy's got enough stuff on her plate. I don't think that that's really a situation we need to add on to her. But we have other people that we could have called and filled in for, for that. The other issue that I do want to bring up is, and this is hard for me, we had a person come in at the last minute and it's, it's um, it wasn't allowed to finish the tour. And, and that was, particularly because she's handicapped, it was really hard for me to um, see that. I believe, and I'm just putting it out there, I believe that if somebody comes in at a certain time and we shut the doors at, say, 7.30, we shut the door and we don't allow any other guests, but if somebody comes in at 7.28, we allow them to come in and finish the tour. I think that's appropriate. That's how it usually is for me. Oh, yeah, you but they weren't the line off and well, yeah, except uh, they weren't allowed to finish the tour. That's what I mean, but they should have been able to finish it. Yeah, I would like that was really hard for me. And the, the other issue is, and I'll take responsibility. Um, I got the fuddle and I told her the wrong date for when a heart walk was to come back. And that I feel horrific about that. Okay, I really feel very, very badly um, because she came with her mother to see the house at the last minute because she didn't want to be um, stared at or mocked. Mm -hmm. oh. And then she was allowed to finish the tour. How and was she, she was told that, that, that we were done and that, um, and it doesn't matter who said it or how it was done, but it was said that she was not allowed to finish the tour and it was really hard um, for me personally. And I would like to see that we don't do that again. And I would, um, I think it reflects badly on us. So I would like to see her to be able to, to have people come in and do that. And because I don't have the ability to contact this, this person and re readdress, that was and so. I the, the right date. Can we put it in, con in contact earlier than just the week before to make sure? I don't know how they got the, the information about the open house, but can we kind of put away? Um, instead of just a week before, run it two weeks before, mm -hmm. as well as the week before, just mm -hmm. so we can try to yeah. get that outreach. How long do you anticipate it takes to go through a tour in a comfortable manner? Because maybe you, you might want to consider advertising that doors close at 7.15, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe just advertise 5.30 to 7.15, but internally no. It, that yeah. you're all here at 7.30, I, I, I think that, I think it's a misunderstanding of when I, in my opinion, when you say to 7.30, that means the doors close at 7.30 and, and then whoever is finished, and we should anticipate another 15 minutes on our part to be here to, to about 7.45 to, to really finish and get everybody out. It's it's a, in the misunderstanding and a miscommunication. I think it's just a clarification on that point mm -hmm. that 
that maybe we state that closed doors close at 7 30. I mean if we're only open from 5 30 to 7 30 and let's be clear I heard a lot from a lot of people that have never been in the house they wanted to do the tour they didn't want to just do art walk art walks different because art walk is set up and we're here <coughs> to see the artists and we're not doing the the docent tours but i heard several times why aren't you guys doing more open houses how how long does it take to do the tour i guess is my question two hours realistically oh, the reason why is this well, well, only because oh, i went no, to about no, 15 minutes no, I'd say 15, 15 minutes, minutes to come in and tour the house. I've watched people come in and I see them go out. So if they come at 7 30, they are staying till 9 30. You need, no, you need no, to go no. through from room to room and have the docents speak about the room and you know the mm -hmm. detail of the room and and then to have get an through tour. the get through the a, through a, a tour, <sighs> not just strolling through the house. If I'm if you're strolling through the house, 15 minutes, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but Nobody I, other it, two hours. It, it, no, it could take up to an hour. You can't come in at 7.30 and expect them to stay till 9.30. No, no. I'm just going to, I don't know. I would say we shouldn't cut the time any shorter than two hours. No, I was just asking. I like to take a person to go through. Yeah. Okay. okay. So well, for a room, room, like how much time were they in the five minutes? So how much time were they in the private? Maybe five and, um, just two or three minutes. They go through the music for from twenty. And five minutes is a whole lot. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think most yeah. people about most people would be about twenty minutes. I agree. Yes. Though I'd like to say with Sue Allen's idea that at seven fifteen we should tell you know we should say no more <coughs> because you don't want people coming at seven thirty and you know because some of us who have been working maybe have a dinner waiting for us or maybe have something else waiting for us too. And they yeah. could easily be here till eight. Yeah, so yeah. we you know we have to plan. We for essentially work here till eight. Right. Yeah. So we're essentially here till eight. I don't see anything different in just saying the doors close at seven thirty. Fifteen minutes. We're talking fifteen minutes, guys. So yeah. So if if we if we and we know that we probably won't get out of here until eight, I just would like it maybe address that doors close at seven thirty. Mm -hmm. And and. I, I think that would be much better, and it was just really, it still bothers me. We could additionally close that door, lock it at 7.30. Yep. We can't lock it. We can't lock it. <laughs> we can't lock, lock it. it. Because, of fire, because of fire hazards, yeah. oh, we'd okay. be in trouble. Yeah. And we have to have two doors open. We have that okay. yeah. but, but we can, we, we can, can, can sit around. Turn the faucet off. <laughs> at that point, turn the light off. We can, we can close the door and, and as long as we can have an understanding, that's what we're doing. I, I just think that would be yeah. great. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, moving on, um, the only other comments that I wanted to say in there, there were, we had some interesting comments. I know, Anne, you heard questions about the screens. I heard questions about the screens and whether they were original to the house or not. And there's some other little things that I we made comment to, to um, I typed in and put in Q Karen to add that we need to do a little research on. I don't know if the screen, screens are original to the house. Um, oh, I don't know. How I, could be. I think yeah. she asked specifically if the screen doors Door. doors. And oh. I said that, that if the doors that. if not the that, doors were the original to the house, right. and I'm like, I wouldn't see no. why <laughs> they wouldn't have screens, but. I don't know. That's one of those, huh, question mark. That yes. was asked about the sleeping porch, too, because you don't sure. see screens up there. By the same person. By the same person. They had to have screens. They, they, they were they trying did. to find That's their right. answer they from did. somebody. They somebody else. Somebody else. Somebody else. Yes. So they always had That's screens. Yeah. And then the other question that I thought was interesting is the water source for the lawn. Um, and, and where was the water source, and how did they water the gardens? Another question was, who was the gardener, and who was the cook? And I thought, well, I have no idea who the gardener was or who was the cook. So that they, we didn't, they didn't keep information that we know of, of that detail. But that's something we might not have the records for. That. Yeah, <coughs> but that being said, maybe it's something we could look into. Mm -hmm. um, so. Those were the interesting aspects. Did anybody else have a quirky thing asked? The bathtub, why isn't it clawed? Why isn't it the flood? 
Why is it clawfoot? Clawfoot. Why does it have clawfoot? Because oh. that's what we expect for our old, old bathtubs. Yeah. So call it so oh. That was done probably in like, 1906 renovation. So they weren't necessarily using cloth. Maybe that was it, but yeah, that's yeah, kind of what we all see. Yeah. 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 They're hard to clean under them. Oh, have you done that? That's a hard with them. Well, the, I can imagine. <laughs> My cramp, my cramp 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 in. They literally That's all get in. Yeah. Because yeah. they're probably the dust under it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in storage, because it could stick stuff under it now. Sure. Oh, right. Oh. Right. Doors. Oh. Everybody's always trying to think of extra storage. Mm -hmm. so and another one is the people years and years and years ago were probably not as tall. Mm -hmm. And they were going wild the tall the doorways and that was like going into the bathroom i'm looking way up there like that was another question was brought they wanted to know the height of the family yeah, yeah and i was going to try to look that <laughs> one up so, 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 so i said I think, I think from, it from the pictures we could yeah. probably guesstimate yes. on how tall it was they were in the right knew how tall a car was yeah that's exactly what i was saying we could figure out from there but that's one of those things we'll add to the research that we need to do to, because you weren't the only one that was asked that question. How tall was the family? So, yeah. the small doors that was the same. It was a lot of troublemaker. By the same ones who wanted to scream. I bet it was. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, Connie had a good question asked about the, the law clock in the library. Yeah, in the library. And I. It still works. I don't know whether that was an addition or. It's a pit runs out of battery. So. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Well, there's some problems. Yeah. It's a new addition. Oh, it's not soon. original. So they weren't like a long ago as it purchased or brought up. I have no idea. Wait, they're not your time. Creamy. But it runs out of battery. It's not. Okay. It's, it's not, not historically. Okay. None of the clocks in the house are, are old. Okay. Um, one question we could add to it too is because some of the men asked me is the mechanicals of the place. Um, how the original was a coal furnace, I understand, but now of course it's gas probably. And, uh, I had several questions from people who obviously so knew something about heating and air conditioning that I didn't. <laughs> um, um, so there's more detail on mechanicals. Okay. okay. All right. So aside from what we've talked mm -hmm. about. Window, transom windows over the interior and exterior doors. And this is that um, self um, we're to We're open to allow air circulation to cool the house. And Callahan's hot water radiator system was used for heating the house. And while the radiators still exist in the house, they're no longer functioning. Mm -hmm. The house now has a full HVAC system, which was installed in 2004. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You think you need more than that? Um, um, no, I probably just didn't read it. <laughs> okay. But, um, but I get that same question. I get that question every time, questions. every year, every time. We don't know They ask about the benches where they put in by yeah. the cow heads. No, because they were using the regulators. So well, I mentioned that's the newest hot seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I well, asked if you wanted to work on the tour. <laughs> and and the, that was the first thing some of the gentlemen saw. The radiators, and okay. I said yes. They're they they have radiator, yeah. you know, so but yeah. first thing in the door. So that's interesting. Yeah. You know what's fun is the vacuum system. The the fact that the museum still has it in his collections. I asked Eric, can you get a picture of it? <laughs> he sent me three, and right now um, they're in the process of um, um, moving things around. They're moving their yeah, offsite storage. Mm -hmm. um, so he said, This is what I've got for now. And he said, I can get you a better picture after we've got things settled in mm -hmm. um, in a few months. I said, We'd love that. Um, but yeah, it is really something. Too. So I looked at that one. My goodness, no wonder it was in the basement. Oh, yeah. uh, so I've been but yeah, houses I'll, that have that. Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll probably like the like the photo of the front of the house with the cake hole and <coughs> the, um, the, uh, the fireplace. I'll probably. Um, Get a picture of that so that we have that for people to actually see too. Yeah. So oh, well, that was like the other thing is I was drug out front and shown the club, the, the the number plate and did it light up and I'm like going, I believe so, but that's 
that's one of those things. But she said, no, you've got to come in. I'm bolting up there to look at yeah, that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right? <laughs> come on, Karen's giving me this look of what in the world. <laughs> but anyway, so moving on, I think it was the 27th was a huge success. Yeah. Other than a, a couple of hiccups, but we can move forward. Hey, I was thinking, can yes. you include um, the option to have them um, sign in um, to our guest list? if they would like to be on the mailing list, um, because a lot of people did ask, well, when's the next event? How can I, you know, come, how would I know about that? Um, when, when are you doing another open house? So, so um, the oh, economy. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. You want to? You want? Do you want to be on our mailing list? And it's just a, a yeah. A Here's your email address. We don't. We don't. We don't else, but could we? Because uh, how about this? Um, I can work with Kathy with our constant contact e blast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I believe we can create a Callahan House interest list and have a sign up here, and then I can work with Kathy to help send out blasts on a periodic nature about upcoming things. That would be so fun. how about we work on that and then you can see how that feels and we can address it maybe in January again to see oh, how that's working. That would be so amazing. amazing. So Thank you, Swell. That yeah. would be amazing. Because it does a lot for the city. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So would that be available by chance for September? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I'll work with Kathy on that one and, and um, help provide either cards or slips of paper so that you can hand it out if they wanted to self-opt-in. Oh, so we'll work on that for you. Perfect. That's great. It That's exactly. It does help events and also any time that we're doing, when we get around to the fundraiser event, again, it would be our opportunity to say, guess what, we're doing an ice cream session. It's, it's that. You're the first <coughs> Yes, okay. you're the first one. Moving on to the art walk, and. Okay, Art Walk's moving along. Um, we've got four artists scheduled. Looks like that's all we're going to get. Um, I haven't gotten any more feedback from anybody. So at this time, I've got um, Jamie Hernandez, who's going to bring her a beautiful uh, paper dress that she's made. And she's looking for a mannequin. She has a, a dress form now that she says she's trying to find a mannequin. She can put it on. Anybody has a mannequin in a closet? Let me know. Um, I actually uh, do. Do you have one in your closet? Aren't you a wealth of things? Cool. <laughs> um, but we should yeah. talk about that. Well, maybe we'll like we can offer it to you. Um, <laughs> have it up there. My so. daughter's having her bridal shower, and we're putting out my all the old wedding dresses. And oh, the cool. So, oh, I like um, that. Got it. Yeah, they're standard size, right? Mm-hmm. I believe so. Okay. I'm not a medic. Expert. <laughs> <laughs> I it looks like it's standard it. size, right? It's like a, I, I assume it is. Um, let me, and I'll talk to you on yeah. the side and we'll, we'll, we'll see, see if you we can. can. I'll let Jamie know. We can yeah. just have it here. Yeah, and I'll just bring it in and we'll just let her use it. And we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, Literally a skeleton in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a skeleton in the closet. That's very funny. funny. <laughs> 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 I love it. Form. <laughs> she she uses it at Halloween. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. Well, scary. Um, we have a watercolor. I think it's acrylic and watercolor. Kelly Kutlinski, and that was your friend. She's going to be here. Uh, she's going to be in the music room. Andy Mace does. He's a photographer. He does beautiful work. Uh, he lives up in Lyons. And uh, he's going to be in the library. And then here in the dining room, uh, we've got Ellen Maddy. She owns the Red Door in Hygiene. It's like an art shop. And yeah. So she's bringing a sampling of her stuff. She, uh, she has her own, we'll put tablecloth on the table here. We'll put, I don't know, maybe, is there any more leaves or maybe just this thing? But this is uh, plenty. If you put more than this, you really can't move in here. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no um, one can move around the table. Yeah, so we'll put it, but she has her table stand she can eat. So mm-hmm. on and I think she wanted two uh, floor easels, so maybe in the corners over there we can do that. And um, the parlor will be open at this time, but in a way I think that's a good thing because that's the first room they come into and it's small. It's oh, not a very big room. Yeah. And it's an artwork in itself. Yeah. You know, right. just looking at the parlor is it's an artwork. So, um, we can put our pictures and books in there. Yeah, ourselves. Yeah, that's great. Something little, maybe one card table or something. 
but yeah, it's a small room, and in the past, artists have kind of tripping over their uh -huh. and their It's hard. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's, that's not good. good. Yeah. yeah. So that's where we're at right now. Um, I had a lot of uh, people who have been here in the past. I did call quite a few, and a lot of people just, I don't know if it's the weather or what, but a lot of people just weren't interested in showing this year. Well, mm -hmm. heat, the heat is kind of a damper. Could be, could be anything. I don't know. I mean, I didn't ask why. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, you, come here. I want you to come. Well, uh, uh, um, thank you, Anna. I yeah. appreciate the update on this. That's so when do you want to do this setup? Uh, I told people to come at 3 o'clock. Okay. You'll send me the list. Yeah, I'll send you the list. Nobody's answering me. Yeah, right. I'll give you all that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay, we're going to what? What do we need to be? I mean, obviously, we're looking at coverage from 3 30 to 8 30. Mm -hmm. Do we um, want to split the time again? Or how are we think? letting people in? Is it just walk through? That's a good question. It's mm -hmm. so that, like, like it's more considering, considering the volumes and the, oh, we should just if last year we just did walk. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best way. Mm -hmm. I think we do walk through so people can observe the mm -hmm. art. The, again, this isn't an open house. Per, it's an open house, but it really is not an open house. Yeah, and different. we want people to see the art. So I think we have one of us standing guard at the door mm -hmm. and issuing people in as as deemed safe. What do you think? I'm going to be in Virginia at my niece's wedding on the 10th of September. Good for you. Yeah, I will get you to go. That's wonderful. What a good aunt. Yeah. Uh, She's nice. actually renewing her vows because her wedding was right in the middle of COVID. They oh. couldn't have it, so. Yeah. She went ahead and got married and had a baby, and now she's having a wedding. Oh, <laughs> yes. that's, that's a good idea. It's a good celebration. Hey, yeah. It's a good celebration. Yes. All right, so maybe I'll reach out to um, past board members to see if they'd want to help in and fill in, yeah. in with the art walk and see if we can have anybody. Are we considering splitting the time then? That's what we've done in the past. Yeah, for yeah. Else yeah. a little yeah. bit. Okay, so how, how would you like to split that? Well, I'm going to be here at three when the artists come. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll take. Them, I'll be on the first half. Okay, and and I don't. I'll take the, the early <laughs> one. We just have to figure out, like you said, how we're splitting that. It's three thirty. I'm, I'm doing the calculation. So it's like three forty-five to like six fifteen, and six o'clock to eight fifteen. And you'll be at three two. Right? I'll, I'll be here. So I'll, I'll kind of be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll be here the whole time. And three or four people in the house mm -hmm. during our walk with the artists is plenty. Yeah, we don't. We, I don't think we need a ton of extra people because be the artists take up a lot of space, mm -hmm. and then you get guests in here, and mm -hmm. you know, it's, oh, I know we're just here to ask answer questions. Mm -hmm. I are, think are we having the back door open like we did last year? We, we have to have the back door open. Mm -hmm. So I, I do think I'll call back door. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. the back should door. should we try to at least have? Three in the first part and three in the second part. That works. So we have we need two down and one up. So so we have somebody guarding that. So no. We'll, we'll do our work. best, but no matter what you tell people, they still are going to. Can we do a velvet rope or something? Like we can, but then the people who come down from the top get stuck on the staircase. Yeah, so the top do the same thing. Stop them at the top. There's really no place to tie them. That's the problem. The doors I can bribe. Them. Well, if you I it. can put stanchions on it. That's the best we can do, and people will still ignore it. I spoke to every person who came in the dining room and asked them not to use the stairs. And they did. And they did anyways. Yeah. Oh, so that's crazy. We can do that. I can do like or crepe paper or something that is, you know, a fire. But just put it off. I, I'll, I'll well, put stanchions up and that's the best we can do. But we also don't want to create a, a safety situation and have people if it, get stuck. If, if it is. A, if, no, we don't have a locked door, but I'm going to be not stuck. Not going to We don't have any fire or anything like that. Mm -hmm. We don't want to keep anybody who can't get through. <coughs> Do we want to do students or do we want to do passport members? Can we get to a combination of both? It, it's a boring job. Yeah. Let's yeah. just try to see the job and see how we do. Okay, I would like to take the early half if I could as well, so there'd be three of us. Um, Janet, myself, and Anne, and, and I'll have the mannequin brought in at that time, and hopefully we, not. We probably need it before then. I know, 
three or four earlier. Yeah, if you get it for sure, I'll contact Jamie and tell Okay. I could, but, you know, could I bring it to day four? Then, I mean, we need to check with her, but she's probably not going to bring it that day and set it up. She's probably going to come a different day because she's I not going to work with you, Kathy. On that's fine. Whatever works. Well, our board, let Ann and I figure out when, and maybe we could get it that first week of September so that she can bring it any time that works for you saying the dress yeah oh, she can I, bring the dress i had told her that. so yeah so i could call we've them. always brought the dresses in before because they're so fragile it's oh, hard okay. to put it on you can't just slip it on yeah it's not something you do at the last minute and yeah. you can't do it while people are moving pictures in okay no. i i will yeah. try to do my best to work with you on okay, 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 that okay. 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 but i'd still special. like to be on the first half if possible <clears> and mm -hmm. then um, Karen and Connie, are you okay to do the second half? And I will try to reach out to Candace or somebody that would be willing to do the second half as well. Okay, so second half is 615 to... 615. Six I want a little overlap. Six o'clock. I don't want everybody to take off. Yeah, okay. 6 o'clock to 815. Okay. So We've always had like a 15 minute overlap so that right. people can... When your replacement shows up, you can go. <coughs> And the second shift is until the artists are out. Yeah. yeah. So it may go a little longer than 15. Okay. All right. So um, moving, I don't think, is there anything else that we need to discuss in regards to our, our walk? Oh, music. Music. That's we don't, we, at the moment, we don't have anybody. Okay. Can, can, <coughs> we, can we just have music that plays like we We can play music this? inside the house, but nobody be able, be able to hear it. I can put a speaker with, um, with a Pandora or something playing in the garden. We'll just put it yeah. on Capstone. Yeah, yeah, we'll just make right. it really easy. Um, yeah. I've reached out to several people. They're all booked. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all booked. They're all getting paid. Right. They've offered to pay one of them. He, you know, they're just, nobody's responding. Same thing we're running into. Um, I didn't offer to pay him. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I tried to get that one guy that was so good. Um, that we've had several times. Like last year was good. Uh, yes. Well, Doug Brunson's great, and he plays for free. But I think he said they weren't available. I so my neighbor actually has a, a jazz. He used to be um, with the school. Um, um, I'm not blanking on names, but he plays the saxophone, and they have a jazz group. I could reach out to them and see if they'd be willing to do that. He was a, a, actually a band orchestra teacher. Mm -hmm. In the district for years. Might be interesting. Let, let me reach out and see if I can get if you'd be willing to do it. Just make sure they understand there's really not an audience per se. Mm -hmm. A few people will stop and listen, we'll put a couple tables out there. I but think the idea I think to that's why people get together and play. The jazz yeah. session. That's what they're, they're looking for. No, no, it's, it's, not it's not Mr. Bill. It's not Mr. Bill, is it? No, it's okay. um it's like no, you won't hear it till midnight. <laughs> no one's in a way up with some experience. Oh, like Sal Mariano, and he just, um, it's music is nice, so. and he plays saxophone, and they do a beautiful job. So, let me reach out. He's, I just saw him yesterday, and I'm just like him, and he's, and I find that slaughtered him. I apologize. You know, there's another place in town if you ever go on Saturday mornings, I think, to the Vita Bell for breakfast, mm -hmm. they have. Bluegrass guys that play oh, for free, yeah. and they they don't they just like to practice there, but they're pretty good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let me reach out. And then That's I'll fine. Let me know. Okay. You can just have him call me if he's interested, and we'll work out the details. I'll probably see him this afternoon when he wants. Yeah. So um. So okay. So music. All right. Anything else in regards to art walk? But we will have our um, business tours so that if available. Then you've got it in your hands and can answer, right? I have a look up the word Delsit. I've never heard of it before. Oh, well, oh, well, art museums and yeah. art galleries. Oh, and yeah. galleries. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've been uh, doing that since college. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. are one. She is one. <laughs> so yeah. you see yeah. that. It's basically a tour guide. Yeah. A tour guide. Tour guide. Tour guide. Tour guide. Yeah. Tour guide. Yeah. Tour guide. Tour guide. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fancy yeah. one like Delsit. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a lot of tour guide. Okay, so we'll we'll have the docent guides. We're going to add extra here in case somebody forgets it. 
So when we put on our badges, we're all ready to go. It's it's all good. Um, moving forward on to the Santa open house on December 2nd. Um, have we seen an advertisement for that? Yes, that's, you know what? It's, it is, I think you all know. It's in the um, fall recreation. Oh, you got yours. Uh -huh. I this guy. I mean, it's online also, but right here, it's the open house during Out Rock, September 10th, and then here is the holiday open house, December 2nd. It's also on Saturn. Pull out. In, in, oh, yeah. Yeah, the So, yeah, like it was last year. There. Do we have that? Yes, it does. The registration is required, which is great. Um, wonderful. So, so it, it's so it's here, which mm -hmm. is also online, and then mm -hmm. it will go in constant contact. Can we get closer? But can we do this up to the one we can go to? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Rather than just the one we can just to see if we can reach. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we were talking about Santa. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I, I backtracked just a bit. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Just so we, but um, then, um, yeah. I think, um, Okay, then I had a question. How many guests were we going to allow this year? That's a good one because here's what our stuff was in last year. Robinson, that. That's why I got this big clump here. Sorry, folks. But I was like, okay, so we're going to need that. Um, but so we had 213 total guests last year. Um, that's about the same number we'll have. And so, um, yeah, we, we did have walk up, we had six walk up groups. Um, totaling 19 people, uh, and then we had um, others who also walked up that did not stay because they couldn't or didn't want to. Um, and we had some no shows. So, mm -hmm. That was a, a slight offset. Um, yeah. So we're, we're going to stick around with the 213 for registration? The registration was for about 250. I think was, I don't remember the exact number, but it was four people, four groups of four every 15 minutes with two 15 minute breaks. So it was about 250. Okay. And Santa did not get any of his breaks. Okay. I think he got one instead of two. And uh -huh. it was very short. Very short. Five minutes or something. Yeah. Well, break. what are the hours for Santa again? Um, 3.30 to 8 in the morning. Yeah, that's a long one. That's what we did last year. Mm -hmm. Four, we'll we cut here. the, yeah. we'll cut the line off at the registration so quick. Well, it's, I was going to say, yeah. yeah. So okay. uh, we'll do exactly what we did last year, but we're going to do individual registrations instead of groups of four. And um, because that was very confusing and it ended up in a lot of phone time for both Sue Ellen and I. To clarify. Yeah, to clarify. Oh, I'm sorry. So, so basically, I think we stick with the same, from what I'm hearing, that we stick with the same program that we used last year, trying to fix any quirks that we did, mm -hmm. that we had. And I think it was a, from hearing everybody, because unfortunately my mother passed right around that time. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I wasn't here at the event itself. Um, I think we just stick with it, clean, clean everything up, and then have, um, have a go. I, I, it sounds like a game game plan, and we'll we'll go forward. I'm excited for it. I think it's going to be a good event. Um, while we're discussing, um, when are we planning on doing the decorations? For um, usually, we schedule that in October uh, for November. Okay, so, so that'll be the time. So, yeah. so as we get closer, but we should be in our minds. Thinking, okay, November, we're going to be decorating. Yeah, we're going to decorate November and try to take it down in January. Okay. We probably should be picking dates because our calendars fill up fast for November. That's why I'm kind of pushing. Let's do it at the next meeting. But I want to look at the whole house calendar yeah. and the club calendar and make sure that That's we don't enough time. schedule it. Yeah, it starts yeah. nice to fill up the weekend in the September time. I, I'm probably pushing a little in advance because I've got a wedding in November. So. Yeah, well, we have two weddings here in November. 
yeah. which is also going to complicate things. So I need to look at the whole picture. Right. Okay. So let's do that. Next so time. we will. We'll definitely put it on the agenda. We put it time. on for um, decorating. You will put them on. Um, because we have a wedding the nineteenth, and we have a wedding the twenty fifth. And I think they both wanted the house decorated, so we're going to have to do it before before the weddings. So take a look at your calendars, and let's talk about it next month. Okay. Well, yeah, they're getting married the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's when my daughter's getting married. A wedding, a wedding here. Oh, they're they're not getting so it's a lunch. Yeah, they're not getting married here. here so. mm -hmm. gotcha. They're doing a lunch here. And they had a hard time finding a caterer, so it was an experience. Okay, so um, then are we going to get into the um, that little flyer in the utilities bill? Just a little blurb about the. That's the plan. Okay. All right. Any other comments about the open house and the Santa open house? I I do have one comment, and that is we need to be careful not to over advertise it, because I think we just put it in constant contact and on the website last year, and we were sold out in like three days. So we need to not over advertise it. It's better to undercommit and over deliver than because that's the, the reverse. Yeah. yeah. So on, on the other hand, Kathy, I kind of disagree because anything that gets the Callahan House out in people's mind is a good thing. I don't think advertisement's bad, and if we if we discussed maybe not this year but possibly we might have to schedule another date um, if this is so successful this is might be something that we consider rescheduling uh, for two days rather than just one just a thought um anyway um Ooh, it gets people kind of excited about it and i think it disappoints a lot of people too, but yeah, people get disappointed that. anyway when they're registering and they can't get the time that they want or or if they don't you know to, i think we've already touched on this there's going to be disappointment anyway it's santa so but that said, it's still oh, like she shows up in three days. I think she's got a, whatever we're doing. Yeah. 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 And then I guess it ends up. Yeah. 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 If I can't get in this year, I'm going to try really yeah. hard to make sure I get in next year. Okay, so moving forward, on to the house manager's pictures update. Um, I actually have picked it up for everyone. Just a quick little word about the hanging system. Um, when we met at the last meeting, um, we had talked about doing the gallery hanging Sorry, system, and, and this is this is what I I probably have extra because I just did, or if I don't, I can. Yeah. Um, Oh, sorry. Well, well anyway, I, just extra. <laughs> um, <laughs> needless to say, it's just the gallery system art display. It's on the website. It's literally called the gallery system um, art. Um, it is a hanging system for paint and art. It holds eighty-eight pounds each. It's we looked at the aluminum track tracking system. Um, we looked at the original gallery system, and that's what it's called, and it starts at 279 with steel cables. Um, it goes from, uh, it's got the footage right there, and, and 10 hangers, and then 10 hooks. I think we just go with the basic system. I know I didn't measure that wall. I would like to just measure that wall, and we had discussed that we were just going to, that's where we're going to go. It would go above the, the hanging system. It would not impede on there. The hanging system, the, the hanging rail that we have currently, it would go above it, and it, therefore it wouldn't damage the wood. Um, I, again, we could go with, when we had discussed with the group of us, I think we go with the metal cables because they're just much more secure. And the big thing is we want to lock it in place and have it done, and again, Kathy, shouldn't have to fish it with any of this. This is used in major galleries and it is 
sturdy and it won't stay anything. And it will allow us to, to um, move the pictures without having uh, any damage to the wall um, it, on that point. So at this point, we discussed it. Um, I would like to put forth, um, I can't put forth a motion, but I would hope somebody would put a, a motion forward about purchasing the system or, or asking Kathy to purchase the system. Can I ask a quick question? Yes, I absolutely. Take a motion. Um, so the 10 hangers, 10 hooks, um, is that going to be um, enough for the quantity of the um, photos that we're going to? I think we might have to to purchase additional at this, but as just a start point, I would prefer to start and then we can add to it. Okay. Um, I was just wondering, is it, is it, do I understand it right? The way you, you can hang potentially two different photos or even three different photos? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, then yeah. Up good. to 88 pounds. And I doubt okay. that the, the Her manager, cable coming down? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so I really doubt the manager's pictures are going to be heavier than these. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I Even if we were to put five on there, I don't think we're going to go I think we're good. Well, I'm sorry. Right. Right. We're here. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I move we purchase this as well. Can I ask one question oh, first? Yeah. Do we have the money? Do we have, we have the money? Have the money. In the well, half hand half Oh, because of the money. I'm not sure. So, it's three hundred dollars. So, do we have the funds available? We do. Okay, that was my question. Can I can I get a second? Okay. Okay. Can I get a vote? All in favor? Yes. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Um, then the other thing at the meeting that was discussed in regards we. I, I have a question. Yes. Who's going to install it? What does it take to install it? It's an easy installation. It just goes along the wall and you just zip it in. I, I guess oh, we screw nail 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 the nail 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 do that? Or? I was thought we'd have facilities do that, but okay. This I'll, I'll take a look at it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Kathy. That's a good question. The other thing that was discussed at the, at the meeting, um, we decided on pictures, on which pictures that we were going to use for the man managers, and the size. And then we decided that um, we'd be looking at frames and we would not have them um, all be the, the same. We, we, decide, we decided that we we're going to try to do with um, kind of more of a eclectic look that would fit within the, the age range of when the managers were going to be that were in them. So we would try to find frames that were. Would fit the size the photo that the photo and would, would would be within the age. That way it doesn't look so institutional. Right. Correct. Right. Yes. You know, everybody has identical. So that's that's what we had discussed at the meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and we included the, the the detail that we would include under each photo would have the name of uh, the house manager, the dates of service, and um, any um, credit like photo courtesy of. Kind of the times call that we have the to. The Longmont Museum, the times call, whoever has provided the photo, we have to provide the credit. And then we had decided that we were going to do a placement for um, without pictures of, of just service of who, name, mm -hmm. date, and time mm -hmm. of people that we can't find yet. Yeah. We're still in the process of mm -hmm. trying to find people. Mm -hmm. But for the details about the house managers without the photo, um, we discussed and decided it would be a good idea to either um, include either the, the gate or the oval window or a faint silhouette for background thing. How, how does that sound to you all? It was something that we, we said, Ooh, you know what? Rather than it just be a flat plain you know, paper with that information on, how do you the silhouette would be so big that it just, you have to kind of look to see it, but just so it's not a plain white piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does everyone think? Yeah. Yeah. So, oh. What does everybody think? Sounds okay. good to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do we have approval of the board to move forward on, on the framing? Sure. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, can I, can I get a motion, please? I make Some a motion, motion. <laughs> that we approve all this that we're just talking about. Can I get a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? 
Aye. Okay, moving forward on the house managers, which is great. Thanks so much, everyone. Um, going on, and we are on item E, past and present board member wall acknowledgement. Real quick, I will bring next month an example so that you can see and you can decide. Um, well, I'll bring a couple of examples and you can decide what you think looks better or what would be displayed. But that's, that's going to be exciting. That would be the next one. Okay. All right. Thank you, Karen. Um, any other comments about the house manager's pictures? Seeing no. We'll move forward to past and present. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, moving forward yeah. on to scrapbooks. Okay, that's all great. Yeah. Okay. Something you can share. Okay. Um, so, because in talking with Eric, um, what I was, because I think the last meeting, it was like, I think it was a matter of, I think we were going to be checking with St. Green School District to see if they had the top equipment. <coughs> and I said, hey, let me check with Eric back with our first groups. So um, he recommends contacting Ken Samville. And he's pretty local in Louisville. And he does photography of art and, and stuff, so he has the equipment. So um, if we wanted to uh, hire someone to do that, he, Eric says he does excellent work. So it's something to, to keep in mind. Okay. So I don't know where we stand. So you could have that on to you. Yeah, okay. okay. So, um, I don't know where we stand on it, if we're able to get and to borrow equipment and do it or we we'll need to have something. So we, I think the kind of recipe you yeah. help us keep yeah. sharing the yeah. minutes. Yeah. Would you please yeah. share that with the other parents so we have it for the minutes? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I had checked yeah. at Adams 12, right. my old school district, and all that stuff is gone. Oh. So yeah. seriously, the outstanding frame still has their stuff. They probably, if they had it, they probably did the same. Yeah. Um, all the photo labs and everything, all that stuff is fine. Well, thank you, Karen and Connie, in regards to the scrapbooks. Moving on to follow up on outreach, public outreach. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure do we how exactly well we want to do this. Um, at one point, I had talked out about reaching out to to PBS to possibly do something in regards to the Colorado experience. I was told that it would be um, a two-year process to get on the list. Do we even want to consider doing that? Why not? I mean, I, it, is, it is future. It's definitely two years down the road, but why not? Just knowing that the I've watched that program a lot and most of it's driven from History Colorado and the Colorado History Museum. Mm -hmm. Those ones. And, um, it's, and they're fabulous, you know, programs. Mm -hmm. But I think they're a little bit broader. Um, they've done some historic houses, ranches, and things like that that are featured. I think. It would be a little bit um, difficult to have enough energy or no interest in the house myself. You, know, you, you like actually, it, I personally do. Um, at, at the, that particular program, mm -hmm. um, I call it an uh, interest. But, um, is, you know, they, they've done. I think they did one thing on the Metro House mm -hmm. in November, which is huge, mm -hmm. yeah. huge. And um, we were talking about that was standing. It was like, okay, we're going to be fine <laughs> right, right there. So I know that they have to look at and they look across the whole spectrum yes. you know, of civilization in Colorado mm -hmm. in history. So, um, and, you know, prehistory basically too. So. Anyway, that's my opinion on that. With that particular program, mm -hmm. I keep thinking of our local programming mm -hmm. and things. Um, maybe it's time to do an update or a, another thing on Channel 3 or Channel 
paint or whatever it is. Whatever it is now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have one thing. Have yeah. With Rocky Mountain uh, PBS, uh, I guess we could put our name in the pot, and if they're ever mm -hmm. doing like an overview of historic homes in Colorado, yes. so maybe we get a ten minute spot, mm -hmm. not a whole that. hour. Right. I know that would be a part of something. Yeah, a part of something else. Yeah, I think they have a hard time making it interesting enough to be a feature for a whole right. hour. Yeah. Right. So the thought is, well, what if we do put it in the pot, and what if I reach out to other historic homes in Loveland and Fort Collins mm -hmm. and see if we couldn't do a collaboration? Yeah, if there's PBS in Colorado, yeah, we could say, you know, we're available if you know, we're one of them. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. But I think we have to be part of the group rather than yeah. a Yeah, right. so, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that is. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. I will put some feelers out, if that's okay. Yeah. I won't move forward at all on anything without direction from the board, but I think it'd be interesting if we could do like a 15 minute, 20 minute slot combine with somebody else and get the idea out there. Mm -hmm. Is is that okay? Mm -hmm. I mean who's to say if it'll come to pass or not, but at least we can try. Mm -hmm. Put the name of the pot and see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, and I also like the idea of the Connie that that um, we consider doing a program on channel three. Do you want me to Reach out to Channel Three and see if they're willing. Or or it's all volunteer, volunteer driven. It's all volunteer driven, and we're volunteers, so um, <laughs> I'm willing to, to volunteer to see if we can play what we've got and have it broadcast. So that's that was what was done initially with our video. Mm -hmm. uh, it was broadcast on Channel Three. I don't know whether they. Do you know whether they still do that on the? I don't know. I, don't know. I, 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 I can ask yeah. and go from there. Yeah. At one point, we had an issue in regards to the video and who owned it. It was given to us. By it was given to us. Absolutely. Eyes on long, long and days. we don't have any issues in regards to using that as is. The issue was making any changes to it, correct? The, well, the original doesn't exist anymore because the gentleman who, who did it and had the original passed away, and they don't have the original. But we have we have the video. We have the video. Okay. Have all the it has an old stuff. City of Longmont logo in it. Mm -hmm. like, have, I don't think it, that's a huge deal based yeah. on when it was produced. Mm -hmm. And we have the rights to broadcast it then. It's been is. broadcast many times. Okay, I'm, I'm just <laughs> right. They said they'd sign anything we wanted them to. Okay. The, the group still exists. Okay. okay. And that's through the senior center, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, okay, international posts. <coughs> sure. Informational posts. Uh, um, I think that kind of goes hand in hand with the um, outreach. Um, if people are wanting to sign up to for the mailing list. Oh, great. Maybe, so we've already maybe covered that. That might be our informational so. post coverage. And we kind of discussed a little bit about the pioneer days um, in the, at the last meeting, so therefore I put it back in. Um, Kathy, do you want one of us as a board member to reach out to, and see if they even want to work with us to do lunch out in the gardens? Or well, we tried and they said no. They said so no. we can we can reach. I mean, we can reach out again. But the last time we tried. We were told that that was their event, and they and they didn't want to collaborate on it. The difficulty is because I work my year days. Is they have buses oh, to each kids. school. They come, they drop the kids off, they leave. Another bus comes. It's very coordinated. I mean, yeah. the logistics of it is amazing. And then to add the extra step is oh, now take a bus to the Callahan house up the road and drop them off and wait. Right. It would add a, a level of difficulty complications. Well, yeah. that and the, the last of group allowed to be gone <coughs> school. Or like St. John's, they uh, march their kids up here. I think Columbine right. marched mm -hmm. their kids right. up So they, right. they have the freedom to do that, but the kids that are busted, mm -hmm. it wouldn't work. Yeah. But there's uh, the schools that are maybe, um, what's the one here? Um, no, um, Central. 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 Central could walk that. They walk down to us. So, so, so right. maybe we reach out to St. those John's schools. Central. 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 I, I, St. John's. Columbine. I think you have to reach out directly to Pioneer Days, to the well, yeah, Society. 
and collaborate with them. It's their event, and they they did. Oh, Candy reached out to them, mm -hmm. and and pretty much came back with it's their event, mm -hmm. and they wanted to keep it that way. I don't think it hurts to ask again, mm -hmm. but I don't think we should reach out directly to the schools. I don't remember how long ago it was that Candy reached out. So I think it's it was before seven. COVID. Yeah. I think it would be yeah. fine to reach yeah. out again. Could could we reach out again and and. Is that something that you feel comfortable that one of the board members do, or do you want to do that, Kathy? Let me reach out. I'll, I'll talk to them. Thank you. We did not have Pioneer Days 20, this year, 20, 2022, 20, because number one of COVID, but also um, schools were not calling in. And we just get in. Uh, there ended up being like two schools that just came over. And so that was it. At least just did that by herself. She couldn't get enough volunteers. Um, you know, I said, you know, I'll be glad to come over and things, mm -hmm. but we couldn't do, you know, the station kind of ideas that we always did in the past. Well, I still think if we get the inf information out there that we, we have people that I'd be willing to volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, sure. I agree with <coughs> doing it myself. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's an, it's a huge thing, and I would like to be able to continue it. And if we could kind of add and help, that would be great. So, Kathy, if you yeah. reach out from from us to, to say that, yeah, that, that would be. Please consider us. That would, and if we get a no, we get a no. But it doesn't hurt to ask. Well, I'll reach out to her on behalf of the house being yeah. involved in Pioneer Days. Yeah. If you guys want to volunteer, that's. On us, yeah, that's, on that's us. separate, right? Yeah, it's fun. I don't. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've been the best constant. Well, I've been at it for <laughs> five I years. I am a prairie head on it. Right? Yeah, I've got all the gear. Okay. Um, okay. Anna and her costumes. Okay. Um, <laughs> moving on to new business, future house restoration and preservation projects. Um, it, this was tabled and we put it back on in regards to um, discussion on what we would like to do. And we're supposed to come back this me this meeting um, with house restoration and preservation um, ideas. Does anybody have any? I mean, everybody should have brought something back. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. That's a good <laughs> Why are we doing this again before ours hasn't even started on our house? Uh, just so we have a list, so we were. It's about it's having like forethought in 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 being. Boy, the garden gets a lot of location. Right? So so the bottom line is, if we get ahead of it, then we have ideas on the right for future rounds. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how much time are we going to discuss this? This was the meeting that we had put on put aside to discuss it, to bring to the August meeting. It's been tabled since, was it March? I, I can't remember mm -hmm. that we weren't going to discuss it until now. And um, so we just brought things forward. Do you have anything that you would like to discuss in regards to what you see? Um, working for, and the other aspect about this is, In order to do things with the city, you have to ask for it. You'll probably be turned down, but we've got to prove that we asked for those funds to do certain repairs. And then once we've proved, uh, we can prove that we've asked for this fund several times from the city, the city just doesn't have the budget for it, then we have the ability to take that and put it into a grant. Again, if you don't ask, we can't, it kind of stifles us. Some of it. So that is why, we're coming forward at this time to, with any repairs that you see as, oh, this is something we really need to work on, that type of thing. And um, Kathy, thank you for this detail. This is good. I'm doing a quick cross reference of what I, a list I had running in this one. So give me a second if you don't mind. It's nice to see the notes, though, of what's mm -hmm. already. On the, Isn't it the grants yes. and the, mm -hmm. the future this is great. and things? So that's real helpful. Mm -hmm. On the dining room damage, I know it's that corner there. Is Jim Bertol and is he a person who can be repaired? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's really good. Yeah, he's yeah, he's really very artistic. artistic. And he, he and I are trading calls. 
So oh, okay. he is okay. interested in doing the work. We just haven't connected. Yeah. Okay. Oh, because okay. I was going to recommend one drywall person I know who's really good too. But he, he doesn't. Like, he yeah. doesn't return messages. You have to like catch him. Yeah, <laughs> literally. So he's not going to answer to the person. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. He does. He does excellent drywall work. He's also an artist. So. Um, Jim has done all the work. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for adding in. anything that we've discussed in previous meetings. I appreciate that. Do they still have the stencils that were used on this, or do you have to paint it freehand? You did it freehand. Mm -hmm. In the bathroom, also upstairs. Mm -hmm. Most most of the interior painting in the main areas has been done by Jim Berlin since the eighties. Yeah. He's been doing it since the 80s. Yeah. Well, he knows it then. He does. does. Well, the bathroom looks like it's stencil. It's just, I mean, it's just perfect. Yeah. That may have been a stencil. That might have been Leslie. That uh, could be. But it also looks like you could touch it and it'd be standing out. I think I figured out something about the um, burlap. I'll, I'll share that more, I think, when we get to the, the Stanley House Museum. But I've um, got some. Okay, from, from quickly quickly reading through this, is there anything on the list that you or in your mind that is not stated here? Can you imagine doing this with your house? And this gets some attention. This the auto house upstairs with the yeah, hair. Your 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 right, right, right. right. yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what Karen, what did you say, Karen? So that auto house upstairs with hair plaster, that's that northeast corner, right? It's upstairs where the we had the leak. Yeah, it's on the north. Well, it's the, it's it's on the east side. Northeast corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then the other window. Mm -hmm. And it's a pretty low priority. Yeah, because that's an area that we just use for storage. Yeah. Not putting on here. It's a good thing. I show that kind of thing. This seems very, very well written out. Yeah. So, to be clear, then we can we can look at. I think we need to, to, to figure out exactly what are the, the big priorities. Kathy, the are big are grants at the moment. I, I realize that. But <coughs> on the next aspect of on your wish list would be the repointing. The repointing. I think that's something that I, that's I definitely agree on the repointing. Um, so we submitted that already the 23 budget. Mm -hmm. Yep. Could you tell me real briefly what that is? Repointing. It's redoing the mortar between the bricks on the outside. And in, in, you're doing and that? And also on the capstones. And, mm -hmm. and it says here for the mm -hmm. auto house, but you submitted that in the budget for? For both. For both. Yeah, it was us. It was in the capital, but in the plan, I don't think it ever got included to include the auto house, but it was both. Okay. The estimate was for both. Okay, great. Just so we know, so the board knows, and 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 I think that's great. Thank you. And it was based on a fifty percent coverage. Okay. On a high estimate, so I don't think more than fifty percent of the mortar is gone. Right. But so. I basically took it per square foot based on Google Earth. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting uh, concept. I bet it was. The okay. Contractor measured it using Google Earth and told me how square how many square feet of wall we had. Wow. wow. And um, wow. Okay. so it's kind of an interesting yeah. approach. So we're submitting that for the twenty. It's already been submitted. That's that's exactly why. But, do you, ladies, do you understand why we're doing that? It's in the we're trying to get ahead of it for the budgeting purposes, sure. and and then we can we can look at submitting it when and if we get turned down. I, I assume it's just a matter of when we get turned down that we, that's not in the budget, and then we can try to go to outside sources for it. 
that's the whole purpose. Well, we can go to outside sources without getting turned out for the budget. It helps, though. Yeah. It helps Just for to us. Show that we've tried to that we tried within the city doing our restoration mm -hmm. and preservation projects, but we're just not quite there yet. Yeah. That was helpful in this grant application that we did. So, so to have that <coughs> aspect <coughs> is important. So, okay, okay. thank you. Well, I, I this is really yes. great. Yes, yes, Tony. This is a question for Kathy too. Was uh, with the garden fountain. Um, when were the extenders when so was long. the last time that the garden fountain? I know it's it's had work. It's been long. it's been eight or nine, maybe ten years yeah. since we resurfaced it. It needs so to be done again. Um, the mason who did it last time is no longer available. <coughs> so <coughs> it's probably a next year project. So that would rise up more. Yeah. Yeah. Priorities about that. Yeah. So we say about ten years ago. So. It's had it's had work done. I've been here eleven years, and it's had work done on it twice since I've been here. And one of those, we literally took it completely apart, and resurfaced everything, and rebalanced, re re-leveled everything, and put it back together. Wow. So, and that was probably maybe in 2013 or 2014. Okay. But the um, anything that has water in it is very hard to to keep. Yeah. Which, which, where is it now? Plus, it sits outside. You know. Right. There you go. Weathers. Yeah. So, as far and as you can only, you can only um, winterize it so much yeah. and everything and keep it for a little Well, we, we cover the center mm -hmm. and the lights, and that's mm -hmm. about all we can do because we have to leave it open so it'll drain. And that's what I'm saying. There's yeah. only so much you can do. Yeah. Short of building a temple, a large little berry over it. <laughs> well, and that's, that's why we close it by the 15th of October mm -hmm. because we never, it has to dry and we, we never know when we get that first really cold snap. Yeah. So, which makes perfect sense. I, again, thank you for getting this together. This yes. is pretty wonderful. And the extenders on the garden irrigation is spelled wrong. Yeah. It's ten tenders. I must have gotten interrupted, but um, we're working on that right now. Okay. Did um, the paint on the back porch is that the exterior or? No, in that's all in, interior painting. So that's included in our current grant letter. No, that's all that's all interior painting. Yeah. Uh, on both the, that and the sleeping porch? Um, probably just the back porch. The sleeping porch has wallpaper. My point was, at some point, the surface areas need to be repainted. Mm -hmm. And it's it, it hasn't been done since I've been here. The and they take a lot of uh, in the wallpaper, wear and tear. In the, in the, in the, that's very 19... What we probably won't... 80s. Yeah, we probably won't do anything in the sun porch. Because but you use it pretty much as storage. Yeah. Yeah. The sleeping porches will probably belong to. But at some point we need to repaint the interior service spaces. Mm -hmm. And that's probably a Tim Templeton thing. Facilities. So what? Our business can we do with having those funds now? Like for example, I'm working on that. that right now. we can do now. We're, we're, I'm what waiting. Else? At the moment, I really want to not spend a ton of money mm -hmm. because <clears throat> we don't know how we're going to come out on the grant side. Mm -hmm. And we want to at least be able to do the bulk of the projects, even if we have to come up with more money. So I'm working on this. Um, I'm working on the floor and the kitchenette, and um, we're working on the, some things in the garden, and the rest we're just in a holding pattern. What, what's going on with the floor and the kitchenette? It needs to be replaced. So what it's it? discoloring real badly. Okay, and what are we replacing it with? I don't know the answer to that yet. So is that something we should um, help with so that Are you hearing water? Yeah. yeah. And I'm watching your hand. Maybe Jackie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm hearing water. I, I'm sorry. I jumped in there. I hear water. water. Like I saw somebody's silhouette. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jacqueline. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm good long as it's just no leakage anywhere. Yes. <laughs> right. I yeah. go, sir. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what corner? Oh. <laughs> um, because Sarah so if the we already knew Jim Berlin will be doing that work. Mm -hmm. um, and does he also do the bell work or any kind of work here to the burlap on the wall? He probably could. He, I mean, all that, that's there. I don't know that there's anything we can do about that. Well, if he doesn't know how to do him. doesn't do that kind of work, I think I've got someone that does. And they're specifically they're doing the Stanley house because mm -hmm. um, they've got their lock on the walls and they're <coughs> and they're I'll talk to them. On it, so it's, and I've got a, that's been that way since I came here. It's just shrinking. Exactly. That's what my yeah, I I shrunk it. <laughs> it's I wish you're normal. Not in the direction I wanted, but yeah. Yeah. shorter. Yeah, that's right. Typical. So then, since so that one's the one, one is being worked on, and then you're saying the kitchenette. It's yeah, the floor and kitchenette. Floor. So what you so you're saying it, it's um, it functions, but. It's impossible to keep it clean and it's discolored very badly. Okay. And so you're suggesting it be replaced with what? I, I don't know the answer yet. I will talk to you when I get an answer. Just, is that isn't the original floor? That no, you know? it was linoleum and it's pretty much it's linoleum, linoleum now. Yeah. It's just that really thick. Um, and linoleum doesn't last for it. Yeah. It, it was just linoleum. And, I'd like to replace it with ceramic tile, but I have to figure out whether that's practical or not. Because we slide tables and stuff across yeah. it. Mm -hmm. So, trying to figure out, and I will if, be if, sure and come back and talk if, to you about it before we do anything. If we go with the ceramic tile, can we go with something that would be... It would look kind of like this. You know, it's yeah, kind of, as close to this as as we could get. Well, so we'll see what we can get. And if you're sliding, yeah, there's sliding tables across it. You might you might be breaking down. Well, we might just need to put one thing back in there yeah. or something like that. Okay. So I'm looking at oh. looking for solutions. Is this way you washed your hands? <laughs> like, what's going on in the kitchen? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate it. And then this helps us, and then we can add this to our stuff and we can refer back to it. This is really helpful. Okay, um, moving on. Um, the QR, um, QR follow up, five minutes. Basically, Sue Ellen, I, we were discussing at the last meeting is there any way that we can move it that where it currently sits and move it up to the top? Um, so when you pull it up by phone, it's right there. Oh, Isn't that one it's of those oh, no, she did that. It's done. She did that. What's complicated is the process. Um, because if you want to, if you want to pull out your phone, you just give it a go. Scan the QR code, and you'll find that your um, the process is. Um, you have to have an account. A struggle. Yeah, you you have to have an account where you sign in you as a guest. guest. But um, it's not as. It just it doesn't flow as user friendly as I think it could. Uh, so, so this was the, my question: Couldn't we just have a just a donate button where you just donate and you don't have to feel like you're signing in, so you're going to get emails or something along those lines? I mean, they scan the code, and then there's just isn't a, there just a straight button that you can say here, donate. here's money, or do you? Because when you go in and you sign, you have to say how many people. I felt like it was like I was buying tickets for or something for how many people, and if I just want to make a flat donation, is there any way that we can do that? The it kind of is is what it is. We can change where we send people when they click the donate button. Like we can send them directly to the purchase of that piece. And then if they want to find the Callahan House, they then link in the directions to the Callahan House. Right now we have them going to the Callahan House and then going to donate. You can change where you want to route that. 
for the process of the purchasing does require um, some people will go, one third of people will have no problems. One third of people will follow with a little effort and one third of people will be frustrated. Mm -hmm. If we switch it, you're just That's adjusting it. which third of the people have no problem, <laughs> which third of the people are that, and which people have issues. Okay. The experience we have is that people who are interested, who really want to give, they do call. And they They'll do call get, and they get their forward. assistance in getting it through. Okay. So, um, Golf folks are, are being very successful with it. We are using it in parks to do parks bench memorial purchases, mm -hmm. and they're having success there too. So, um, some people will make it work, some people are amazed by it, and some people are so frustrated. And I don't know if you've ever gone to a website and like, I'm good at websites, I can't figure out yours, you know, right. type of yeah. thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but if a person really wants to, they'll call. We, that's my experience, okay. is that they do call it and we are able to help them out with that. Have we had any calls or any donations since our open house? Uh, I haven't I haven't checked. Not so that I'm aware of. Uh, because do you get an email when it gets sold? You do. Let me check. I don't understand the question. <laughs> I need to check the setup in the back. We have not. We have not. Um, the money that was collected has been put through the accounts. Um, appropriately from the open house. Which is where we sold the, the books. We sold one, books and, and one DVD. And one yeah. DVD. Okay, but so how many yeah, actual donations did we get? Right now, no, I don't think there's none. none. Okay, okay, there, so there is none. So we, okay, I just was wondering. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And they can give a donation with the credit card, mm -hmm. with the credit card machine. So if we have that here for open houses mm -hmm. and they want to give a, a credit card donation, they can give a donation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we have a <coughs> A sign or something that says, "Would you like to help donate for historic preservation?" We can make one. Can 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 we do that? Because honestly, I hate to say it, but people are really, and I'm one of the simple-minded people. If you don't see it, you don't think about it. You don't do it. So if you just say, "Would you like to donate?" Why don't we consider doing that? That's a nice suggestion. Just so that it's something interesting. I don't want to put it out there that that's all we want, though, is donations. No, no, but every historic property is. But we're, we're, right we're not sitting there panhandling and hitting the doors and knocking with the cup, you know, on their fences mm -hmm. until they give. It's just simply, would you like to donate? Could you also then have like a box with a slit in it that's inside, not outside? But so some people might just want to drop a dollar bill in or something. Mm -hmm. We could do that. That's more We could do that too. Yeah, because maybe they don't want to put their credit card in. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good song. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Just see those at every place. I, I mean, yeah, we used to have something. Yeah. So, didn't we used to have something outside that so many people broke into it or something? Yeah, yeah. I brought it on the inside for the open houses. Not, yeah. not yeah. all the time. It would be a cash pile for people on the street. Yeah. Yeah. Don't get it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> get if they want out. it bad enough, they'll figure out how to do it. Okay, I think those are great suggestions on both part. And then if we get some help that way, that we're not out of anything. Well, then maybe arrange time with you separate, so just to come, just spend a little time and, and just step through, and then see if there's something more we can do to kind of iron out mm -hmm. that process. Mm -hmm. I just really am hopeful that uh, scanning and, and uh, donating online, because it is normal. I mean, just, uh, the, the way people are handling a lot of donations. Yes, they will bring in cash sometimes, or even a check or something, which is nice. But, I want to make sure that that's as smooth as can be. I know you're talking about the third, third, third. Mm. Can I spend a little time? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Um, appreciate that. So, the club affair. Um, we had, so we kind of talked about doing the club affair and did a little um, information, a little check on on uh, you know we're down to i believe it is seven clubs correct seven or eight and <coughs> um i'd like to be able to to promote that we can we do clubs here and in um not get, not a lot of people are aware of that and i also think that um it's important that maybe we do or outreach a little bit maybe we could um 
Karen, would you like to talk about how it's been done in the past? Because I wasn't here for, for any of the club up there, so. Connie was here. Connie yeah. was here. Yeah. Yeah. I was here. Mm -hmm. <coughs> started, yeah. Yeah. starting. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, we just we had reached out to initially our clubs, but we put it all call out to all the times call used to have a little <coughs> things to do, not things to do, but um, club meetings, ball, club meetings mm -hmm. clubs to join, you know, interest kind of things like that. They put that in the paper, yeah, you know, quarterly or something like that. And uh, we just started going down the list with all those clubs, you know, and saying, like, would you like to get, get your word out, you know, and have a little booth, mm -hmm. uh, basically. And we charged per table, you know, and for the setup, and then they had, we had the open house. Yeah. Okay, then, yeah. About 20 clubs, yeah. There were 17. 17. In 2012. Yeah. And we only had eight sign up in 2014, and we ended up refunding all their money. Okay, and didn't do it again. Yes. Nope, because we, did, we didn't have hardly any yeah. people show up. Yeah. No, Can you tell me what yet. club affair is? Is this like a... Yeah. I, it's I a, it's an information time where it's like, a, it's like a fair, basically, where you can go and visit and just get information from the different clubs, you know, about what they do, and talk to you, or whatever. So it helps the clubs get new yeah. members too? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just, yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah, it was a facility, and, and the clubs that meet here, too. Um, okay, so it's not an attempt for us to get more clubs here. It's attempt. It's just an offering to it's the clubs. It's a possibility. Too. It's a possibility. They also hand in hand with that. They too. may decide they want. Right. But right. it's clubs in general, if they're in a church yeah. or something, can come yeah. here to drum up new members. Yeah. Okay. Right. And. I think it's an opportunity for us to reach out to certain clubs that we would like to potentially invite or ask if they would be interested in and help us give, to, to give us more clout, to be honest, and um, diversify. diversify for grants and, and whatnot. It would help. I think it would be a good thing. And, <laughs> and so, you know, if we're down to six, six, six seven clubs, that's kind of... Well, it's a wonderful outreach to the public to provide a service to the clubs and the public to connect with clubs and mm -hmm. for, for community members to connect with clubs and clubs to you know, get, get out to the community. Um, it also, in that service, supports them in, in, in their club focus, which may be for the benefit of the community. It may be a philanthropic um, effort. That is one of the things that was also part of the grant application. Mm -hmm. What do the clubs that are meeting at your house do for the community? Mm -hmm. So, what are we doing here? We're offering a club affair that allows the clubs to connect with the community and vice versa. And some of the clubs, some of those clubs are philanthropic in nature. And so it's 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 service that reaches beyond the walls of the house. Mm -hmm. so, so it was done twice. 2011 to 2012. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all that was in the scrapbooks that ended after that. Um, well, there was nothing beyond 2012. So I think Leslie did it before. You did it before. I yeah. did it before. This said first. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how it is in the scrapbooks. Okay. Do, but, do, do, do you mind me going? Oh, of course. Yes. We tried to do it in 14 and we just didn't get any yeah. participation. Yeah. But, um, and I wouldn't say do it every year by any means, but you know. It was it was helpful back then. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Because well, a she, lot of clubs are defunct now, and yep. a lot of them are mm -hmm. uh, people spend their time differently. Yeah, so that, that, that way. Yeah. There is right. recreational time, and there are new clubs actually that have been born. Out of I, I think it's things. interesting. I think the the other thing that we were talking about. So you're talking about, and I remember this very much that mm -hmm. they would. Organize and and then put it and it'd be in the newspaper and people then could read about it and figure out which clubs they wanted to go to. There's almost like a, a lapse in trying to figure out where to go to figure out what clubs you want to want to be involved with because you don't know about them. Mm -hmm. I think this would be a great community service and it again it would help us in the long haul for um, grants and 
chance to say that we did this. Um, it's worth a shot to see if it'll work. If it doesn't work, then we'll make a decision at that point. But I think we should attempt it. I was, I, I, I just, uh, to tag on with that, I think in some ways, we're probably, because we're talking 2022 now. <laughs> Correct. Uh, we may need to talk to, I'm not a member of several of the clubs that I used to be in, mm -hmm. and just because of time and then this, yeah. way things are right now and um, things but that might be the way to do before we say we're good to do it that we could explore the idea with the clubs that are in existence right now to see if that would be a helpful thing that they were interested in because those people that those clubs that were involved with it were very enthusiastic. You know, they said, we'd love to do this, you know. Are we talking about the clubs that meet in the house now? Starting with the house, but right. also um, clubs that I you're guess. members of, you, you know, so you know, we're about it. Maureen, Jeff, or Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, you can say yeah. whatever you want. Yes. Well, I just, um, I have two questions. Yes. You know how the city of Longmont has a magazine, like it's a mm -hmm. like events library and can we have a snippet in there mm -hmm. we can um with some forethought the one comment i had is that i'm under the impression the rfp has some major renovation in the house that we're doing stuff to windows and things like that and it seems like adding more people to juggle when space might not be available during construction mm -hmm. could complicate things in ways that make a a project more complicated because we're trying to work around we're trying to, my understanding is that we're that there's a desire to keep the house as a functional venue as much as possible to, to not displace the groups that are already in here but still allow stretches of time for the workmen to do their work for the for their grant piece and and i'm wondering if it might be something that if you guys would like to do do it at, at the tail end of the renovations and yes. the grant stuff so that it both highlights the house is a that fresh face, and then you're able to actually bring them in without saying, "Well, in three months, we're going to have to take a two-week hiatus because there's an unexpected time frame for construction." Yeah. I just want to. Yeah. No, that's a, that the, the, that's, a, that's a great point. And I've so, thought about that too. So, so here's the thought: What if we um, we more do the start this as an initiative and, and get putting feelers out to figure out when. And we put it as a projected um, point after the renovations are done, where we set this up to be. be I think it's a, a great point that we have this as a target, as one of the things we do after the grant. And so, yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, and we typically been done in. February in the month of February because it, it seems was. to have been a good slow month. Mm -hmm. um, so potentially not this coming February, but maybe the following February. But we can start to put the feelers out to clubs and say so. So, so, so at this point, I, I'm wondering if we don't table this for so January for, to until January, January. To, to, to discuss in January that that we then move this out as a projected item to occur after renovations. I think that would be a, a delightful way to keep in the tickler, yeah. Yeah, tickler right. there, but yeah. still maybe talk to some people if you're involved yeah. in a club yeah. or and maybe just ask if that would be a possibility or an interest to know that they would still like to yeah. do. So we're just contemplating to so 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 could I get a motion to to table it until January and of that these I knew we put the club up there. Item on the January board meeting. Can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. So be it. All right. I'm moving on to the Callahan House Advisory Board annual report to the city. Um, basically, basically, I was just going to say that we need to pick it. A date in September. September is just getting hectic, isn't it? Um, on which we could possibly meet and um, and discuss the report. <coughs> the report. Um, 
Ladies, it, it's basically the three of us, um, Connie and, and Karen. No. And, Karen Reed. Yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> the, other, the other Karen. Karen Reed. I, I looked at Karen and saw her eyes. So, yeah. so yeah. she, she knew I was talking out of <laughs> so, um, so looking at your calendars, ladies, what would be a good time to possibly meet in, in September? I'm going to be gone from the 9th through the 14th for that trip to, fall to uh, Virginia. So, so here's my next point. Do we want to do it in, in October and stuff? Would that be a better month for you? I'm, it would probably be better for me. I've got, I've got some other things. I know a lot of it. I still have my little busy down in Texas. Yeah, October is pretty open. Could we try for some time the first week? Of the, I'm sorry, because of October school. The second week, it would be the second second through the eighth, sometime that, that week that we could possibly work a time on. Mm -hmm. The second through the eighth, I'll be gone. You'll be gone. That first week of October. Could we do something on the uh, third week, I think, possibly? The third week? Okay, um, I'm pretty much up and on that week. The 17th through the 21st, what would be a good day? Do it on the 17th. Do it on the 17th? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, is that a possibility that we could possibly do it here at the house, Kathy, or do we need to have it at a different location? I'm going to be out of town. Okay, can, can, can we meet at my home, ladies? Would that be all right? Meet at my home. If you met on Tuesday, there's a club in the house from 10 to 2. What Tuesday? And Wednesday, there's a club in the house all afternoon. I can do Tuesday. Tuesday? Thank you. Well, Tuesday or Wednesday, the one actually would be better because I'll be just getting back on the 16th. <laughs> okay. So, so let's go for Tuesday. Anything? Yeah. And what time is the club? 10 to, 2, 10 to 2. 10 to 2. And they're meeting where? Upstairs. Upstairs. Mm -hmm. So could we meet here That's at, fine. at 10? Mm -hmm. 10 on Tuesday. The 18th. Got it. other business, the Stanley House Museum. So I toured it recently. It's lovely. It was built in 1904. Um, it's pretty amazing um, the, the restoration projects that they are undergoing. They have a million dollar grant um, from the Historic Society sure. they're working with. Um, but it looks amazing. This is, mm -hmm. and anyway, um, so I asked the executive director because he was my tour guide. And I, I was the only one on the tour. I was like, this is great. So it was a wonderful tour. It is a two-hour tour, just so you know. It really is. Um, so you, you get picked up right at the visitor center. They take you from the, from the air via van. Uh, it's a five-minute drive to the house. It's just a quarter of a mile um, west of the Stanley Hotel. Um, but no guests can just drive up to it. Same thing with the City of Estes Park and well, the arrangement they make for it. But I asked him if it would be possible to arrange a kind of a group tour for our board members, if um, you all would like to do that. And he said, absolutely. So mm -hmm. I wanted to see if that was of interest to anyone. Also, 
then I will certainly make an arrangement, but I would love to know your preference on days or uh, times. They do Tuesday through Saturday um, and Sunday, so just no Monday. Um, Is this something that we could do in the spring? Is this something that we could do in the spring? Absolutely. We can do this fall. We can do that in February. Yeah. 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 But it's it's really cool and that is interesting. Yes. And a lot of the restoration work that they're doing is very parallel with what we're working on, including the burn um because they have So requesters uh was helping to contribute to the to the dynamics of that project. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much, Karen. Is there is it a possibility that we could put it on um, our calendar to do in the spring and do a board um, road trip? Yeah. Can we just um, discuss it in January? Like, yes, that would be great. So so we can add that to the uh, okay. for future yes, agenda. I don't driving using your car for board business. Oh, I think that would be business. volunteer. This is personal. Yeah. Personal. I'm not sure we can get caught in. This is just personal. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, can, can I ask real quick? Would be would it be okay to reciprocate? Can we offer an, an opportunity to come to our house for um, sure him and, yes. and his volunteer yeah. group? Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Well, but I think that's a great opportunity. Anything that we could collaborate on? Yeah. I know a gentleman. His name is Trip who works at the Stanley and also a different venue, he may be interested. So I, I could In joining us? In having a tour. Oh, and coming to here. to here for a tour. Oh, oh wonderful. He works at the Stanley. Okay. But at the Stanley, at the hotel, not the museum. Uh, I don't know but, all this. But that's okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, but yeah. I can. Yeah, but the, the, the special thing about the museum is it's very much like us. Oh. works primarily on volunteer work. And, um, okay. Um, moving forward, the continuation of the board retreat agenda. Now, we voted on that, that we're going to be working on that agenda, and I think that's what we need to be doing. But because the agenda is big, I think we need to take a vote on exactly what we're going to be working on each meeting. That way, it's not overwhelming. That way, we can get to it, and we can get it to it, and we can do it in an orderly fashion. I'd like to be able to break it down. Now, that's just my suggestion the board members, you as board members can decide how you would like to do it, but it seems to me that we take it in snippets and try to work on it in sections so we can actually get what was accomplished. Um, we, so we can get it accomplished, period. Um, from going and looking at the, the minutes um, the discussion was concluded at an article um, of officers and bylaws. It was agreed that we should finish this discussion on the bylaws at the next meeting. So looking at it, we should be looking at starting with the bylaws. Um, article 4, officers, right? I believe so. If there's a correction in something, and if I'm getting it muddled, please let me know. But we have, this is, this is basically what we, all the documentation from the, of what we were trying to get done and going through. So, I think we take it in snippets. It, what is it that other people think? I think if we, if we have to yeah, I was going to say, if we're going to be doing this during regular meetings, which is unusual, um, then yeah, snippets is the best we can do. I think it makes sense. That's what we had, I thought that's kind of what we said we would get a little it's bit of time. Yeah, okay. That's okay. kind of enough the meeting at. I, I wanted to clarify that's where we're at because I wasn't sure of that. And that's so right. let's, let's do a clarification so the next meeting we know we're only looking at. This. Right, and it's not overwhelming. And maybe stick it higher up in the agenda so we get to it before we get tied up and everything else. That's kind of where I'm at. I would like to take it a snip at a time and work on it. 
So at this meeting, I would like to decide exactly what we're working on at the next meeting. Why don't we just do Article 4 officers? There's A, B, and C. That's it. I don't have my in front of me, but I agree. <laughs> okay. I, I would hope that's a small number. Back to you. I, I think we're, we're kind of long in the tooth at the moment. I'd like to, to, to bring the meeting up. So, so for the next meeting, what I need a I would like to see a, um, a motion that these are the items that we will cover at the next meeting. And so I move that we, in new business at the next meeting, we address Article 4, Officers, A, B, and C. A, B, and C. Can I get a second? second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Therefore, that, that's exactly what we'll do, guys. We're going to move that up, and then we'll get working on it. Um, and you're going to put it into new business? Yes. Okay. Is it new business, or is it old business? Because we're it's old. Sick. It's old business. Well, yeah. <laughs> Technically, it's not, well, it's just not regular meeting new business. So, it doesn't matter. I think you can go away with it. <laughs> I just don't, I, if we're going to ever get it accomplished, I think we need to get it moved up so Excellent. we can get it, get it done. Um, if it keeps on falling under old business, business, business at the end of the meeting, we're never going to get it completed. So, so, so put it under old business. I, I would suggest that we get it under old business because this is old business that we're trying to get accomplished. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Um, so uh, we've had a vote on that. Moving forward on to future agenda items, um, 2023 open houses. We're going to set those in January. Mm -hmm. I kept this little flyer because it's helpful. It reminds us of the concerts at Sporting Park, and then I also wrote down we have um, there's concerts <coughs> at, uh, Wednesdays at the mm -hmm. Museum, and then. Um, also at the mall, and then on Thursdays there's concerts at Rock and Wheels. So just I've made little notes so that I can keep it for when we're talking about in January when we should plan our open houses, but try and keep away from competing events. I, I think that's a great idea, and I again one of the things that I heard very much from the public was why do we not have more open houses? Mm -hmm. Not not with it other events going on, just an open house. Yeah, I think they want to see the house and hear about the details. So, um, is there any discussion, more discussion on that item? Okay, moving on to adjournment. Okay. Hey. It is uh, 10.43, I move we adjourn. I second. All in favor? Okay, we are officially adjourned. Thank you ladies, appreciate all your time. Thank you again.